I've just left me house. Um, I'll just go for a little walk and take you boys and girls, um, you know, a little bit of well in North York. Um, so I just sent me out 100 yards and we're going to go through here, past the old green there, and up through here, see past the scenes. We'll have a, a butcher's. There's the back of me houses over there where I live. This is all arable land, really. It's it's uh, it's really. There's a wedding barn, which I'll show you a little bit later, and there's a, a farmyard there. We just take a little stop. This is basically where I live. It's, it's in a bit of a valley, so over towards that way, um, you've got Richmond. And if we pan round over towards that way, is the A66. So the A66 takes you over to the lakes and towards Carlisle as well. So into the third field, um, we're going to Hartforth. Um, that's uh, some small cottages over there, just on the way out of the village, Gingling West Village. And as you can see, it's a real pleasure to live with this on your doorstep. It really is. Um, there isn't, there isn't really. There's church there, village church. There isn't um, really a day goes by well. I think to myself how lucky I am to live in this area. Um, I'm a southerner by heart, but Shear is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. countryside you get it <laughs> this is the only problem <laughs> never get any clean shoes ever <laughs> when you go for a strut round here <laughs> oh that's another one bad actually i have to say <laughs> it's been worse than that i have to say <laughs> now in this field coming up here you're a bit wary because there's a, a there's a flipping ball in this field i'll tell you what I've been chased by a bull before, and I tell you, it is the worst. My, it was terrible. My life flashed before my eyes. It was, oh, I had a whole this bush and this big bull that chased me. Oh, <laughs> so I've got to be careful here. <laughs> Just in case he's kind of hiding behind the corner, you know what I mean? There's the bugger right over there. Right over there. Thank God. <laughs> Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. <laughs> right, so down there, over there, is the little hamlet of Hartforth, which we, we, we are going towards. And I'll just give you a little panoramic view of where we are. My house is that way. And the nasty bull is that way. Um, as for wildlife around here, there is absolutely shed loads of wildlife. Deer, badgers, foxes, uh, red kite, been uh, spied a few times, woodpeckers, uh, curlews, um, geese, Canadian geese, um, also um, um, they, they do, they do, ha they have had kind of like hunts here which I'm firmly against, but uh, you know, 
part and parcel living in the countryside, I suppose. Just a little view of the valley. It's a pig farm up there. Poppies kind of like spread out. down towards half four. Right, just arrived at half four and uh, we'll have a little uh, little walk through the place. Um, it's an absolutely gorgeous little little um, hamlet I would say, not really a village, there's only a few houses but uh, it is a very very nice place. We come around Some of these houses got swimming pools as well. Well, maybe one of them, two of them. Um, this is usually kind of like covered in blossom and daffodils and a wall of colour. It was, you know, coming along here about, about, couple, about, about a month earlier. But uh, apparently there's been twisters in, uh, a couple of twisters in Yorkshire Dales as well, which... Uh, Yesterday, oh, fuck. Oh, these are gamekeepers' cottages. There, oh, and there. I think they're owned by the estate, half of the estate. So, so, I'll show you in a second. And, uh, some nice houses over there. It's always dead quiet here as well. Always dead quiet. Off up the road. Gardens are well maintained here as well. See that beautiful looking place there. Beautiful garden on it. These were coming up to Hartforth Hall, just round here. Um, I don't know the story behind this because um, it, it looks completely rebuilt. To a <laughs> well, I'll show you it as soon as we go around. And there, you can see there, I'll just give you another picture of the place in a minute. Can't really show you, can I? So that's Half Fourth Hall. I think it's called Half Fourth Hall. I've always called it Half Fourth Hall. Um, we're coming up to the beck now on this old bridge. And this beck runs through my village. Um, and going back about five years ago, this beck flooded my house. We lost everything. Everything on the bottom floor of the house just went. I've moved since then, only across the road, but um, the worst thing, I can never wish flooding on, uh, on anybody really. It's terrible. And that's the beck going through the village. Deck. I think it goes all the way to Ravensworth, which is that way, obviously, because it's going that way. <laughs> There's Hartforth Hall Hotel, which um, I think, I think it's only two people are living there at the moment. So,
So we come to some private woodland over here. Now this woodland is really for them uh, to breed uh, pheasants and stuff. For um, pheasants and stuff. Pheasants. <laughs> for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, you do get quite a lot of deer up this end. I've noticed some loads of deer coming up here. Um, when I'm out walking like um and all of this all of this woodland in May is just covered in bluebells the whole the whole vast carpet of them um and you get people coming from all over Yorkshire to actually come to these woods and uh well it feels like they're coming from all over Yorkshire to come to these woods to uh to look at them Well, I've just come out of the woods there, yeah, just only about, it's only a small, I don't know, 500 metre walk down there. Coming out here to the, like a pig farm, and a bit different from what I saw it from last time, there's a loads of poppies as well. Um, so this track forks off at the top up there. And if, you, if you bear right, it, it takes you to a place called Washington. Um, might do another video uh, when I walk to that. Um, and bearing left, I'll be going towards Gilling West. And you know, it's, it's uh, do this every morning, keep yourself fit, doesn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh. It is really dead today, actually. You usually get lots of cyclists and walkers about. That's probably the weather or the humidity of it putting them off. And uh, pictures of the poppies. These weren't here last time. Uh, this goes to show it changes. Every time you, I come out for a walk, there's always something different to see. So if you can see in the distance there, you can see some white houses, if you can make it out. <clears throat> that's that's where I live. And um, Scott's Corner is over there, <clears throat> um, A1 to the northeast. 66 runs at the top of that hill over towards the lakes and Cumbria. And Richmond is over that way somewhere. So what we're coming down to now is um, a wedding barn. Well, it used to be holiday cottages, but they've kind of transformed this place into um, a wedding business. And it's really, really grown after the past, over the past few years. Now we stayed here when we got flooded in the village and we stayed in a little cottage on this site and I have to say I didn't believe in ghosts until going to this cottage but afterwards I'm a firm believer in the spirit and I'll tell you what reason being is that things were happening in this place we were staying you know the TV would turn itself on in the middle of the night temperature drops in in the in the bathroom in the kitchen and you know it was so so weird so weird and there is I think there's a story that someone did hang themselves in this on this site so so we've just come complete circle um, I don't think you can see if I can this will pick it up there is Hartforth house over there, Hart Forth is just over there, so we've come all the way round down this hill and this hill will take us back to Gilling West. Also we boast um, a number of private fishing lakes as well, for anybody who wants to get hold of their and bring it up here. So this is the start of the wedding barn. So this goes for a fair trek. See, these were just built 
about six months ago, I think. And you got um, like um, I think this is where the where they get married in there. So, have you can read that? It says Gillian Old Mill Holiday Cottages and Yorkshire Wedding Barn. It's I tell you what, it's done a lot of work on it. These are the older cottages. These were the ones. One of well, we stayed round the corner. But these were the ones we were first built. All empty, for obvious reasons. That's an outdoor jacuzzi or pool or whatever it is in there. And as you can see over there, if I can bring it round beyond the trees. You might be able to see where I live. So we're getting closer back to home. There they are. So I'm a bit of a country bumpkin, if you know what I mean. I mean, me personally, I love living in the country. I really do. It's, it's, it's just a slower pace of life. And people start to know, know you as a person as opposed to just a face in a big city, you know. Don't know if that's kind of focusing. Right, we're heading back towards Gillian, going towards the parish church, behind them trees there. Um, God, I wish it would rain, you know. I really do. I wish it would bloody rain. Absolutely really stuffy. It's been really stuffy.